Now time now for our series of pre-election reports on the five major party presidential candidates and their efforts to swing voters in their favour. In part three of our five-part series, our O. C. Young shows us how software mogul turned politician and Charles Sue has recast himself as a young, charismatic leader who has pledged to lead the country in harnessing the fourth industrial revolution. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. The image on this rather unorthodox campaign poster promises an era of new politics for Korea, led by centrist presidential candidate An Tosu. His arms raised in the air. It's a revolutionary move, exuding the image of an active young president full of confidence, a break from his former image as a soft-spoken professor. Anne is the co-founder of the Centrist People's Party, as well as a former software mogul, physician and professor. He entered politics as a presidential candidate in 2012, having garnered broad support from young people through his book and an appearance on the popular talk show. Still, for the 55-year-old, solidifying his image is crucial for this campaign. His relative inexperience in running government affairs and multiple professions in academics, IT and medicine still has the public trying to figure him out. I just think of him as an IT mogul who made that antivirus program. Appearance-wise, he seems like a good person, but he's always said he's not political and now he's running for president. I don't get a clear sense from him about who he is. He seems smart, full of vision and good ideas, but it seems like he's too influenced by those around him, so that's rather unsettling. The new poster, casting Ahn as an energetic and assertive leader, was unveiled this week at the start of his presidential campaign, under the slogan, The People Always Win. I will make Korea a fair country, where merit wins over cronyism. Reform of politics, prosecutors, the economy, whatever kind of reform you may seek, I will fulfill your request. The pillar of our campaign is to change the old political system of hegemonic power and incompetent secession. An is a candidate with no illicit ties. He has integrity and does not twist his words. So our strategy is to emphasize those strengths in the local context wherever he goes. On the campaign trail, Ahn has made stops in traditionally conservative regions like Daegu and Gyeongsangbuk-do province. Voters there, disillusioned with the conservative parties and their association with the impeached former President Park Geun-hye, appear to have warmed to Ahn and his right-leaning stance on national security and North Korea. Young people are another key demographic that Ahn must swing in his favour. Recent polls show that almost 95% of Koreans in their 20s are planning to vote in the coming election and 58% of them have said they could go back and forth until election day, making them a highly unpredictable but necessary pool of voters to win over. We did notice a lack of support among the younger generation, and we'll meet with more students and talk to them about the fourth industrial revolution throughout the campaign. Anna has promised to set up a youth committee in the presidential office, in addition to supporting job creation initiatives and income stabilization measures. But more than anything, Anna is promising a brighter future for all Koreans through the fourth industrial revolution. Many new technologies will develop rapidly and they will combine in forms that we couldn't have predicted. The next 20 years will be about the fourth industrial revolution. We must harness it and make it a source of our livelihood and jobs for the next two decades. Anna has been visiting major tech hubs in the country, pledging to engage professionals across diverse industries, including IT, new materials, creative content and even food and the humanities. With government support, he believes these industries will ultimately create new jobs, resources and core competence for the country. In the remaining days before the election, and will continue to build up his image as a president who is above politics but subject to the people. Oh Young, Arirang News.